All right, in this video, what we're going to be doing is attaching the electronics to our uh, Wi-Fi wheeler. So here are the electronics that need to be mounted to the Wi-Fi wheeler. Uh, this is the wheeler here. Okay, I'll put this to the side for now. Uh, we got a battery holder here for uh, four AA batteries. All right, there you go. This is where the batteries go. And nice little switch, switch here for on and off. Okay, we got a breadboard uh, we used to do some wiring and attaching sensors and stuff. DC driver board, which will be used to control and uh, power the DC motors to make the car go. And then this is the ESP8266 based um, UNO board, which will allow us to, to, to program and control the robot. All right, uh, your kit comes with some of these sticky foams. Um, these are just, they're double stick. So you got two little sticker sticker uh, uh, type papers, and uh, when you take them off, you get sticky on two sides. It's just a very like uh, easy way to attach these uh, electronics uh, to the board without you know drilling and, and stuff like that, um, which we don't need. Okay, so let's uh, let's first start with the battery holder. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. Uh, on the battery holder, I've gone ahead and stuck two sticky foams. Uh, okay, so you can go ahead and do that again. That they look like here. You could they they peel off uh, one at a time like that. All right, so I, and then uh, once you peel it off, it's sticky here. You can stick it onto your um, battery holder. So I got two of them. Let's go with two, and then let's peel off this little paper there. So now it becomes sticky. All right, notice where I stuck it though. Um, there's a side here that says uh, that that has a uh, switch here okay so we don't want to put this on the sticky on the switch side because once we do that we're unable to access the the switch okay so now we take our chassis okay and here's my wheels uh, my DC motors back here just so you can orient yourself and we're gonna go ahead and take this you see the switch here and we're gonna stick it on and we want to make sure that we don't cover these two holes, okay? We're going to have the motor wires come through there. If we cover it, no good. So maybe just about there, okay? And then we can stick it on and press down. As I press down, don't just smash it like that. You're going to put too much pressure on these motors. So hold the, uh, put some fingers down here, maybe like this, okay? And then up here and then just squeeze you know not too hard just a little bit and then it's it's on there okay and now since we have that we can go ahead and take these uh, motor wires so one here for this motor stick it through the hole here like so okay and then do the same thing uh, for this this one here Stick it through the hole. Okay. All right, we got those through, just untangling a little bit. Okay. The next thing I want to do is our DC driver. Since we got the, the motor wires out, the DC driver is going to be this guy. All right, we're going to orient it this way and put it in between the battery holder and the uh, orange ring there. Okay, so let's go ahead and put it there. I also put a sticky foam here, so I'm just gonna take off that paper and then put it right here, kind of centered. There, and just push down. Again, um, I'm holding uh, the chassis here with my two fingers here and push it down with my thumb. Okay. Don't just push down. You're gonna hurt the hurt the wheels. All right. Uh, so good so far. These will go into these uh, green terminals later, uh, but we'll do that in the following video. Uh, the other big one is the breadboard. The breadboard is gonna be used to attach uh, different sensors and lights and stuff like that. So uh, this doesn't need a sticky foam because it already has one built in. It just has this yellow paper. Just take it off. This whole thing is sticky and then we're going to put it right here now you see there's this green notch here let's just turn it around so the green notch is facing toward the front 
okay something like right here making it nice and neat nice and centered push down again I have fingers down here on the bottom of the chassis as well so I'm not just pushing it down and hurting the wheels okay we're almost there then the last one is the actual uno bore the ESP 8266 so this is gonna rest um, on top of here like this okay key things are we don't want to cover the switch of the battery okay and so and then um, that's actually the key thing all right and then we have the power connectors over here you want to make sure that when you put it on this power connector is able to to go into there okay it's got to be able to reach okay I think that's good okay we're gonna use two sticky foams here I already put two on Take the, peel that off and then let's stick it on like so press it on a little bit and we are good to go all right and the cool thing is um, you're still able to put batteries in too right so you could put your batteries into here four double A's um, I actually have batteries so I'm gonna put them in myself just to kind of show you how it all works oh wrong way there two three and should have one more here put it back kind of snap it on here I need to lift it up a little bit. There we go. Okay. And uh, there we go. All right. So the next step is we got to do some wiring. Um, and so that will go ahead and be in the next video. All right. That's it for now.